All right, let me compose myself and welcome you back to the big playback. Still a ton of show left for you. Up next, the Trinity Lutheran Saints girls team taking on Chiloquin. And interesting enough, Saints were actually scheduled to play Chiloquin Tuesday, but Chiloquin had to forfeit that game tonight. Everyone was happy and dancing as both teams took the court. Senior Ellie Kent sitting at the top of the key. Quick head fake drive and dish it to her girl Lexi Valentine for an easy two. If only Valentine's Day was as easy as that bucket. Am I right? Anyway, for Chiloquin, Moving on, if you set a screen for Sessione Perez Weiser, she's going to connect from deep. Caitlin Fitzhenry, though, can do it too, you know. Drained in a three, and that was not her only trait of the night. Those threes were falling for everybody. Ava Garris getting in on the action too from the side, dropping down that three. And for good measure, Ellie, I can shoot it from anywhere. Kent with a quick dribble pull up from deep. She's a walking bucket and passes a thousand career points tonight. Trinity Lutheran dominate Chiloquin 58 to 34. All right, it's time for a timeout, a team talk timeout to be specific. The Summit Boys basketball team may not only be the best boys basketball team in Central Oregon, possibly the best boys team in the state. Let's get 60 seconds on the clock and get going. The Summit Storm have been on fire going back to last season. The Storm have won 20 in a row. Their record this season going into Monday night's clash with the Lava Bears, 11-0. The Storm have not lost a game since May 22nd of last year. And with a streak like that, you have to have one thing on your mind, and that's a state title. The Summit Storm ranked in the top five at the moment. Coach John Frazier, though, kind of downplayed it. He told me one of the goals this season, really simple, just to be in the mix. If they're one of the top four or six teams left in the playoffs, that's a success and a title on top would be the cherry on top. Closest Frazier has gotten to that title was in the 2015-16 season when the Storm made it to the semifinals. That was in 5A, though. It's possible they could also go undefeated this season and end up with a number one ranking in the state. That's just how things shake out. A number of talented players, but the Storm player to watch, senior guard Julian Mora. This kid is one of the fastest in the state. That's from coach John Frazier. He plays with a chip on his shoulder. We saw that last week at Mountain View, and he's a 40% three-point shooter. All right, that's the buzzer. Let's get to the game. Let's see if Mora could keep the Storm's hot streak going. Ben Lava Bears trying to pull off the big upset against the Storm. Could they do it? Picking things up with Ben point guard Cody Clawson going right at Colin Moore. And there's only one winner here. Moore with one of the best plays of the season so far meeting him at the top. Now Summit in transition. Mora with the quick hands gets the steal. And could he dunk it? He was pretty close. Got the grip a little bit better next time on the shoes. All right, Truman Toiber. Now, time winding down in the first quarter. Little hezzy three to beat the buzzer. That is an NBA move. Maybe it's the shoes he's got on. Little sneaker watch. The undefeated Nike collab on the Kobe 4 Pro Tro. I'm putting you all on game. In the Milwaukee Bucks colorway, those are actually player exclusives for NBA All-Star Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Tober playing really well in him. All right. Cody Clawson, he's our week one player to watch. He's got a nice little hezzy, too, knocking down the tray. He's carrying Lava Bears this season. Summit would walk away with this one, though, and it turned into the Pearson Carmichael show. This one, the pass, just a little bit off, trying to get a little showtime, but then Carmichael on defense. He can do it on the defensive side, too, getting the big block on Ben, and then he's like, hey, no one's guarding me. I'm going to take it right to the rack. Little Michael Jordan with the right to the left. That is a very, very pretty move. He's got some game and he's only a sophomore rim grazer on that one but the next play wait for it that's a rim rattler storm roll of the lava bear 75 to 43 all right central christian girls looking to get their first win of the calendar year against the cross point christian warriors savannah lay she's going to be unable to finish here but brianna schaefer grabs the rebound in a sea of blue fights for some space to get the two to go on the other side warrior bryn duffy passing around makes it back to her and she heaves this three gets the big bounce off the backboard does it count as a bank and it hits the rim first i'm not sure who cares it was a nice shot all right more ball movement for cross point eventually gets back in the hands of duffy who was just pulling up wet nothing but net tiger senior though She's got something to say about this game. Catherine Beaver wants to find the hoop, and why not just take it right down the lane? A little scoop to my loop. Splits everybody there. That's two for the Tigers. Central Christian finishes strong. Gets that first win of 2022, 33-20 over Cross Point. All right, now it's time for some big playback trivia. We will welcome back in Lee Anderson, Katie Suniga, 
How have you two been doing this season on the trivia? Have you been learning a little bit uh, on the season? Yeah, I think so. Lee's got them right both times. Okay. I only got it right one time because we worked together. Yes, and we're going to work together this time. I think oh, that should yay. be the theme yes. for the coming weeks as well. So this question is about title-winning teams in Central Oregon. This week's question comes from Redmond High School. Hi, I'm Coach Gilbertson for Ribbon Boys Basketball Team. Here for the big trivia question for the week. The Redmond Boys Basketball Team is the only boys team to win a state title in Central Oregon. But we are not the only Central Oregon team to win one. Our big playback trivia question of the week is, which three other girls teams have won a state title? A, Summit, Ridgeview, Trinity Lutheran. B, Bend, Mountain View, Redmond. Or C, Crook County, Lapine, Madras. Go Panthers. All right, any idea for the two of you on that title winning teams in Central Oregon? There haven't been too many. I, my first thought would be A, because okay. we just talked about Summit being doing really well right mm -hmm. now, so even maybe the girls mm -hmm. had a run, okay. but Lee knows way more. Lee, what are you thinking? Yeah, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I like what Katie had to say there. Yeah. I, think, I think we're going to go with you. Okay. On Let's I think okay, we're going to so go guys, with A. You guys are going with A. You're yeah. locking it in. That's your final okay. answer. Yeah. Okay, Summit, Ridgeview, Trinity, Lutheran. We're going to come back after this. A little bit more for you. Top plays of the week, your team of the week, and, of course, that trivia answer. See you on the other side.